And that's because cash remains essential for around 8 million people. Not everyone is comfortable with digital payments. And at the same time, ATMs and bank closures are continuing at pace. Good morning, everyone. Clearly, lots of you are concerned about the future of cash. Given the rise in contactless payments, some shops have refused banknotes and coins during the pandemic. And last year, we withdrew a lot less cash, £81 billion. That's still a huge amount of money, of course, but that's actually down nearly 40% on the amount we took out the year before. Now, despite that, the average UK consumer still took out around one and a half thousand pounds last year so cash is not dead and for vulnerable people or those in rural communities it's more important than ever the problem is the number of atms fell by 10 percent last year and the post office has plans to cut a third of its cash machines over the next year or so and what about banks well lots of plans for branch closures were put on hold last year, but HSBC, Barclays, Lloyds and TSB have all announced closures for this year and Consumer Group, which estimates 11 banks every single week could close. That's 40% of branches. Now, Stephen runs a centre for people with learning disabilities and other special needs in Botton Village in North Yorkshire. They've now got a brand new post office counter and ATM. Button Village supports around 60 people on site in supported living accommodation and the people we support predominantly have learning disabilities. Our local bank closed down, I believe, around about seven years ago, so access to cash has been quite limited. We know we're entering an age of technology, but a lot of our people we support are used to handling cash and it also helps people to, to budget more smartly, more effectively. Um, actually, the feel of cash counting out money is really important to increase people's independence. Now, the government told us they are working on legislation regarding access to cash. They know how vital this 